We have a raw on the team, so any good like two-man taunt could eventually lead to a nice little raw ultimate and the, like two people getting hit by raw ultimate could at the end of the day win us the team fight. So that's really strong going into the late game here. I'm waiting on some cooldowns looking at to, at this enemy Susano. Uh, one dash auto attack, maybe a taunt will kill him. I'm going to have to end up killing him with a taunt. And then I'm going to turn around and look at the Ganesha. Ganesha is pretty tanky, but he's also low health. Taunted me away and that allowed me to notice the enemy nut but i'm gonna go ahead and kill the ganesha first and then i have the blink taunt available to kill the enemy thoth which is the last one on their team uh nut did end up dying god knows how uh but we're gonna be able to get the triple here i'm guessing with the auto attack if we hit it and nice we end up getting the triple kill on this athena solo you can see hello hope you guys are doing well and today i'm bringing you some athena gameplay now i decided to play athena solo in this ranked match for you guys here today uh, because if you guys have been around for a long time, you guys probably know I used to run Athena solo quite a lot. Uh, and there is a reason behind it. It's because her ultimate paired with teleport is very, very strong. It allows you to teleport across the map and help your team, whether it be in getting a couple of kills, uh, losing or taking a gold fury, something along those lines. And then you could just teleport back to lane and continue farming, uh, again, using the ultimate to go across the map and then using your teleport relic. To come back to lane and keep farming so you end up losing very little for tele or for rotating early as a solo laner and it really allows your team to get a foothold elsewhere across the map uh now with that out of the way i do want to quickly mention that i am pretty sick uh, i wanted to bring you guys this athena gameplay regardless uh so here we are uh but please do excuse my voice for this video and uh, now we should maybe be able to kill him here he's taking a lot of damage from minions uh, so I think one more combo and we should be able to get him here soon. Uh, now we're going to go over a couple of things in this video. If you were just here for the build, then I did put the build at the start of the match in the form of a screenshot. Now he jumped back into the combo. I think one dash auto attack will kill him. And yes, we're able to kill him pretty easily here, which is nice. Uh, because as we're going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses here in a second, uh, one of her weaknesses is her kind of lackluster early game in solo lane by herself. When she's put by herself in this lane, it's kind of hard for her to compete up against some of the, you know, warriors that belong in this lane that were built for this lane. It's a bit harder for her to compete with both her, you know, lacking damage and also her higher, somewhat higher cooldown as compared to a traditional warrior. At least you are having a bit of a hard time, but getting that kill early is really going to buy us quite a lot of pressure. Uh, also, because we killed him, we were able to get a free back. Didn't have to end up using the teleport, which means we can still employ the uh, kind of action that I was talking about earlier on in the video uh, if we notice a time when it is appropriate to do so. Uh, now, onto her strengths and weaknesses, starting with her strength. Uh, her strength is always, her biggest strength is always going to be that taunt. Uh, that is a very, very good use of, or a very fo good form of CC that not a lot of characters have access to. Uh, and it's going to lead to a lot of good, uh, you know, synergy with your team. And in the late game, that's the main idea that making use of that taunt in the late game is going to kind of make up for the fact that you're maybe missing some extra damage through a warrior or some extra, you know, uh, or you're lacking that early game that a regular warrior would have. Um, that's going to be her main weakness Her second uh, or sorry, not weakness strength. Her second strength is always going to be that global presence. Again, she can always alt from one place of the map to the other and basically always be there to assist her team also using it a bit offensively you can go in be super aggressive lose a large portion of your health somewhat in the later half of the game and then just back to base grab your items grab some wards heal back to full and then teleport back into the fight and you're going to basic they're going to have to deal with two tanks right they had to deal with you when you initiated and your full health bar they got you somewhat low and spent those resources and now you're back right back to full health back in the team fight and they have to basically diminish your entire health bar and give up some of those resources yet again now i see a perfect opportunity to teleport over to the right lane uh, and we should be able to kill the nut on landing and i'm looking at this enemy uh jungler unfortunately he did blink away that kind of sucks and i don't really see any kill potential onto this enemy um what's his name thoth uh now ignore us failing to clear the wave now at this point i can go ahead and back the base uh grab my item and then i can just teleport back to lane using the teleport which is super big uh, again maybe i wasted a little bit too much time but even then you might lose a wave you might lose some pressure 
Uh, but at the end of the day, helping your team a lot of the times is going to be beneficial uh, because at the end of the day, you're a solo winner. You're going to do the same exact thing, whether you're one level behind or two, right? Uh, we did have some kill potential onto this enemy uh, Gilgamesh on landing, but unfortunately we weren't able to finish him off. But I do have those guardian stats. So being able to dive him here early might be something that I'm looking to do. I'm going to save the taunt just in case he jumps away and we'll be able to get, uh, grab that kill pretty easily and further cement our kind of uh, lane pressure in this solo lane, despite the fact that we're playing a guardian. Now, throughout the remainder of the game, I'm going to be looking to make that sort of play that you saw there, uh, where I'm going to be looking to teleport over to dual lane or maybe even mid lane or to any objectives that the team decides to do. Um, so that's going to be some fun here for you guys here today. I don't know what I'm saying half of the time. I'm very sick. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, where was I? Strengths and weaknesses. Uh, we already kind of covered the strengths and weaknesses, so we should be fine there. Uh, we have a character with very, uh, one very hard hitting CC, like one really effective CC. She also has a slow, some global presence. And you know what? Decent damage, especially if you build her a bit bruiser like, like I'm going to be showing off the build here today. Uh, weaknesses in the early game playing her in solo are lackluster clear, high cooldowns, um, and what's the other one? Lackluster clear, high cooldowns, and kind of low pressure. Uh, no sustain. Uh, a couple of those weaknesses we can deal with. Uh, her high cooldowns on her abilities, we can deal with building uh, some cooldown reduction, and we are going to be building some cooldown reduction uh, on this character. So we can kind of deal with that weakness. Uh, next weakness is going to be her... Um, what's the word? Uh, kind of lackluster clear in the early game. Now, yes, her clear is not really uh, meant to rival some of the warrior candidates that are played in this role. However, this is going to be the way that you clear in the er very early game. You're going to dash the enemy solo laner and deal that uh, you know, small amount of damage. But what it's going to allow you to do is draw the minion aggro and you're going to be able to group the minions together. Off of grouping the minions together, you can use the three and hit all of the minions with the third ability. Uh, and that's going to help a lot with clear. It's actually going to lead to a situation in which you're out clearing even some of the stronger characters. I'm going to alt away from this fight, but I'm not going to back. I actually see an opportunity. Uh, the Loki ganking in conjunction with my taunt could actually lead to a pretty easy kill over and left. And it's going to be pretty funny. He jumped in place. I'm going to dash in taunt, use my three and give Loki this really easy kill. Again, poor enemy Gilgamesh was not prepared for the Athena solo. Uh, so back in lane we are, uh, bullying the enemy, um, what's his name, Kilgamesh once again. And we have our ultimate and teleport available to us here. So again, looking at a situation like we had earlier, uh, maybe we can make it work here soon. I dashed under tower, which kind of sucks, but again, I'm pretty tanky, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll talk a bit about the build here. Uh, when you're building this character, my main focus is cooldown reduction. Like I mentioned earlier, I want to be able to cast these high priority abilities very often. Uh, and specifically the taunt in the ultimate, I want to be able to use like on cooldown constantly. Uh, and then I'm also looking into some forms of damage that I can get from itemization that this character lacks through her regular kit. I'm looking into something like a mystical mail, which you're looking at me build into right now. I'm looking into something like a, my first item, what's it called? Uh, guardian shield, guardian, gladiator shield, sorry. I'm looking into something like a gladiator shield, something to help me boost my damage just a little bit to make up for the damage that I don't get through my regular kit, the damage that a solo laner would regularly bring to the fight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my teleporter to come across the map, but unfortunately my team died before the teleport went through, so now it's just me up against their entire team and I think I ended up dying here. Uh, I don't think there's any real chance of me getting away. That's unfortunate, and once my team had died before I teleported over, I probably should have, um, what's the word, backed off. Now I don't think we can kill this enemy uh, Gilgamesh unfortunately, but we still do retain uh, the ability to do a decent amount of damage. Uh, ultimate is still up and so is the teleport. So anyways, Warrior's Axe in the early game is going to allow you to kind of keep up with the enemy uh, warrior and not end up taking too much damage, especially when you're aggroing the minions to clear. Uh, having the, don't mind me trolling the enemy <laughs> in the background. Uh, I, I was having a bit of fun this match. Um, anyways, uh, then you're going to move on to the gladiator shield to uh, grab some of that extra damage and some cooldown reduction. Mystical Mail is going to assist you with 
clearing the wave and doing some extra damage, which is super nice. I'm gonna alt away from this because I'm not dying to the enemy jungler and I managed to just barely get away. And I do have the teleport, so I'll just back to base, grab some items, maybe some wards, and just teleport back to lane. Uh, so one thing that I do want to mention before we get further into the video is if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to, I'm actually gonna teleport mid here, uh, make sure to uh, drop a subscribe. I post videos like these every single day uh, and I post on all types of different roles. So I play solo mid, usually you'll find mid or jungle carry, uh, but I play solo occasionally and I even have some support videos coming if that's something you're interested in because I know I have very few support videos. But I play all the roles. So if you enjoyed this video and find it helpful so far, then go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Uh, now we teleported mid, but I don't think there's anything to be done here. I'm kind of holding on to hope that maybe we might be able to do something because we do quite a lot of damage to some of the squishier characters. And since Loki is in solo right now clearing that wave, uh, it kind of allows me to stay just a bit longer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and alt away from the Thothelt. I'm not sure if he shot it, but he was charging it up. Um, now another thing, I do have a Discord server. Uh, so if you want to talk or chat, God, I can't talk. Talk or chat with me or have any questions for me. That's the easiest place to reach me. And also, if you just want some people to play Smite with, then we have 500 people in the server now, which is a lot of very friendly, amazing people that are always willing uh, to be friends with you guys. So if you're looking for some friends to play Smite with, also the best place to do so. And I know on the topic of self promotion, follow my Twitch for some live gameplay. I was holding the wave for this enemy, or sorry, ally, Ra, and he's just not having it. He's standing still typing. I was holding the wave for him that whole time dodging ability and ability i'm gonna go ahead and alt onto this fight over here i'm gonna land right away killing the enemy susano and then i'm really tanky at this point of the game so i'm not too scared of anything that's coming next i see my team is on their way to assist me with this fight so i'm just gonna provide some assistance here dashing and missing onto the enemy thoth but i'm gonna continue some pressure on him here i'm gonna chase after him someone did pop the sprint to allow me to catch up to him and we should be able to kill him here pretty easily and now i'm looking to see where anywhere else around this map i can help i'm looking at the mid lane here maybe a nice little taunt under tower might help our raw uh, maybe hit an ability here raw's back there doing god knows what uh we did end up ta taunting her and raw might be able to get the kill here nice raw ends up getting the kill and now we're looking at the enemy ganesha who is very low health charon will be able to finish her off with auto attacks and now the only one left is going to be this enemy solo laner now he's kind of tanky I don't really see a world in which we kill him, but I do see a world in which I try. So we're going to start throwing some abilities his way here. And he will get away, unfortunately. Uh, I have this idea to dive him, but my taunt isn't up, and I don't think Charon has the damage. I missed my three, and now Susano's here. Susano can do a lot of damage to me here. I'm in a very vulnerable state and will end up dying. I overstayed. I overstayed quite a lot. Uh, that's my bad. All right, looking to be back in the mid lane, I'm going to ult the Charon once again. I don't really want to lose the Gold Fury. I want to be present for this fight here. And again, we have a raw on the team. So any good like two-man taunt could eventually lead to a nice little raw ultimate. And you like two people getting hit by raw ultimate it could at the end of the day win us the team fight. So that's really strong going into the late game here. I'm waiting on some cooldowns looking at, to, at this enemy Susano. Uh, one dash auto attack, maybe a taunt will kill him. I'm going to have to end up killing him with a taunt. And then I'm going to turn around and look at the Ganesha. Ganesha is pretty tanky, but he's also low health. Taunted me away, and that allowed me to notice the enemy nut. But I'm going to go ahead and kill the Ganesha first, and then I have the Blink Taunt available to kill the enemy Thoth, which is the last one on their team. Uh, nut did end up dying, God knows how. Uh, but we're going to be able to get the triple here, I'm guessing, with the auto attack if we hit it. And nice, we end up getting the triple kill on this Athena solo. You can see... With the itemization that we built so far and just with the pure utility of Athena's kit, we're able to not only take part in every single fight, but also do a decent amount of damage in these fights. Uh, we're definitely not just uh, hitting them for 10 damage. We're doing a decent amount of damage and providing a large amount of utility, which is probably, the again, the reason why you would play uh, this character in solo. And we did also manage to get the Gold Fury. We managed to get the Beacon. So overall, we managed to kill their entire team, get Gold Fury, get Beacon, and we're in a very good spot and have put our team in a very good spot here to win this game a bit later on. Um, now I'm going to continue with the build path here. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but for build, you're going to want to prioritize some cooldown reduction to make up for her very high cooldown. Um, 
Now, with that being the case, uh, our next item is going to be some magical protections because we need magical protections in order to deal with this Thoth. A Thoth could just kind of free spam us and we'd be taking a lot of damage. So one magical protection item is going to help a lot as I'm going to alt me and this chair on for some nice uh, mitigations and it'll allow us to exit the fight unscathed. Unfortunately, Loki did dive or people and die, uh, but we managed to live and that's all that matters, right? Um, like I was mentioning, we need a little bit of magical protection and I find that I really like to build really heavily into mitigations as we're able to dash away from the Thoth ult. That's the second time Thoth tries to ult us and misses. That's always nice. But yeah, like I mentioned, uh, I like to lean very heavily into mitigations with this character, a character that already offers mitigations. So if you build into some additional mitigations and ult, you literally can't die. You'll be in between five people and they won't be able to kill you, which is hilarious. Uh, it leads to a situation where we're 23 minutes in and have died twice. And I don't think I'm ever going to be in a position to die more than just those two times that I've died already. Uh, so yeah, Oni Hunter's Garb is something that I value a lot. And then working on to some of those again as we alt over at the nut. She's going to alt and that's fine. I like how me and this enemy or sorry, allied, uh, you know, teammate spread out so she can only hit one of us, not both of us at the same time. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and work on this gold fury or fire dart, sorry. Uh, but yeah, like I mentioned, um, Oni Hunter's Garb and then building into that cooldown reduction, I'm going to go Pridwin. Pridwin is really strong right now and going that blue a kind of upgrade basically makes you unkillable on landing. You're going to have just a humongous shield the minute you land. Uh, we're able to secure that fire giant or the team is able to secure that fire giant and then we should be able to kill this enemy Ganesha here no problem. And look at either a mid lane tower or gold fury is doable. With two of them being dead, we could really go either way. Uh, if this guy taunts, I don't see how he doesn't insta-die on landing. Unless I miss my taunt, then he won't insta-die on landing. Um, anyways, I still do have my ultimate available to me. I'm going to go ahead and alt the person tanking the phoenix to allow him to tank it for much longer. So we guarantee us getting it. And then I'm going to taunt or this enemy nut. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and then work on possibly ending the game here. Very low is the enemy mid lane. I'm going to be able to taunt him here and my team should be able to pick up the kill or I'll pick up the kill. And then it's only the nut left. Uh, I don't know if we have enough damage to end though. Two towers still being up. I think this Titan is going to be a bit too healthy for us to take care of. Uh, but we will be able to drop it quite low to come back and end it next time. Uh, but at this time, I'm going to recommend we retreat. I might taunt the nut here. Uh, if I see a position to do so, maybe we'll be able to kill the nut. And then... If she dies, we might be able to end. But unfortunately, that's not the case. And the Titan is left at just absolutely zero health. It's fine. We'll get it on the next one. Uh, anyways, you heard me mention cooldown reduction and mitigations being something that I really enjoy to buy on this character. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the final item, Spirit Robe. Uh, Spirit Robe is going to allow me to get that final bit of cooldown reduction that I need to max out my cooldown reduction and constantly be casting my utility. And it's also going to give me some extra mitigations, which just makes it even more impossible to kill me. Uh, I mean, it really is funny what you can do. And again, the kind of full point of playing this character as I'm going to initiate on him. Not because I think we can kill him, but because he's a bit out of position. And my idea was uh, if my team can catch up in time, we might be able to do something. But I'll take onto the chair on to give him some nice little mitigations just to make sure he doesn't die before fire because I don't want anyone dying before fire giant here. I'm gonna be able to taunt the Susano and with our team put together, maybe we'll be able to kill him. I think he ended up beating, but I'm not sure. Unfortunately, the Loki did end up dying. I'm looking at Susano, uh, but I'm making sure that my team is in a good position not to die. Uh, horrific emblem has been popped. I'm gonna taunt them away from the team. Again, I don't really want my team dying here. And then I'll look on to re-engage here. Susano has dived the back line, which really sucks, but I can blink and kill the Susano or the Nut. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kill the nut here and then turn around and look for a kill onto that Thoth. Thoth is pretty low, so I should be able to kill him here no problem. Maybe even the Ganesh if I manage to hit them both with all of the abilities. Ganesh is also killable. Uh, but we did manage to kill the Thoth. Unfortunately, he had um, alternate timeline, but that's fine. If he has alternate timeline, I'll just turn around and maybe call the Fire Giant. But I don't know how much damage we can do to the Fire Giant with the Scotty because Scotty... I think is building full power and building full power 
doesn't really lead to a lot of damage up against this fire giant. But I'll stick around. There's no kind of harm in seeing if we can do it. And then if we end up not being able to, we could just back off and come back a bit later. Uh, we have the Raw coming up in 11 seconds and the Loki is on his way. Uh, but I don't think this is doable, so I'm going to go ahead and back off the base. And we'll be back shortly with the ultimate. On to the enemy Ganesh. Uh, we did manage to kill the Ganesh, and now the Gilmesh is extremely out of position. Uh, again, taking a lot of damage not only from our team, but also from Fire Giant. Unfortunately, we'll be just short of getting the kill there. But a taunt onto the Susano should get him killed, and now I'm looking at the enemy Gilgamesh. Uh, I don't have my taunt up just yet, but Nut and Gilgamesh are both extremely out of position. I'm going to go for the Nut because the Gilgamesh is kind of useless uh, by himself, but the Nut could possibly thwart an attack. I'm going to go ahead and taunt her. She's going to insta ultimate. Uh, and now we have, again, a full team here to take care of this Phoenix and work on the end. Uh, there's Now with the Nut dead, there's literally no way we lose uh, or we don't end. So we're going to be ending here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and specifically subscribe if you enjoyed this video and don't want to miss out on other videos like it. Again, Discord server and Twitch are both linked down in the description. So go ahead and click those links. That out of the way, thanks for watching to the very end. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.